All right, so when the heck did they start having a donut burger here at Universal? What the heck? This is at the uh, giant Coke thing with, that has the that has the music videos. They have a donut burger here. They had a picture of it earlier. What the heck? I think they're gonna show the turkey legs next, but wow. It caught my eye. Oh, look, churros. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. We are back at Universal Studios Islands of Adventure. And we are here for just a quick vlog. We are going to check out some of the construction updates that are going on. Hagrid's roller coaster is nearing completion, and they're doing work on the entrance archway. There's a lot of different things to do. Plus, it's been a hot minute since we've been to Universal Studios, so we are going to ride some of the attractions and check out what is new. I am super excited, so let's head on inside. There she goes. She saw that Dr. Dooms was a five minute wait and she's off. As for me, that's a hell no. Nah. Now see, here's the thing about Dr. Dooms, Fearfall, and me. I will ride Tower of Terror 20 times a day if I could, but when it comes to this ride over here, I don't know. I just can't do it. I did it once. I've done it once and I just, I, I don't know why. I just can't do it. But Tower of Terror, 20 times a day. No problem. This one, eh, not so much. I don't know why. All right, so just a quick little Jurassic Park update for you guys. Um, we would show you guys from inside the restaurant, but they covered up all the windows inside the restaurant so you can't exactly see over there. So this is going to be one of the best vantage points that we can get for what's going on with Jurassic Park and the unnamed roller coaster project. Um, they cleared out a lot of trees. They still have a couple trees left and it's still a couple bushes, like specifically this tree right here that's, that's left over. And they took out the uh, the bridge over here uh, connecting Jurassic Park to the Lost Continent, just bypassing all of Hogsmeade. So there's that. Um, other than that, nothing too much else. They're still finishing up the land clearing, and it looks like they're getting ready to do some digging for some support structures. I don't know. I feel like we're going to start seeing some vertical construction very, very soon. Another thing that I want to point out and to take note of is that they are doing, it looks like, a little bit of refurb or construction or something or another on the facade of this uh, gift shop over here. You can tell uh, it used to, it's supposed to be a tree, but um, we, no, we walked in and we immediately noticed how jacked up that thing was. And that does not look like a tree at all. It looks like they took a lot of the stuff off. So yeah, doing some minor refurb on this gift shop over here in Toon Lagoon. So we have the drop to Jurassic Park River Adventure right over here. We turned the corner and we immediately were in shock because we noticed that we are easily able to see the Discovery Center from right here. Um, that's not something that we were able to see before. There used to be a bunch of trees there, but again, with the construction on the unnamed roller coaster, we are able to see the Discovery Center now. They cleared a lot, so let's continue on forward and see what else we can see. Last time we were here, there were a lot more trees. Another thing to note is that because of the construction, they have relocated the Raptor Encounter to the opposite side of Jurassic Park, closest to the Discovery Center, which is right here. So in this little hut is where you can meet the Raptor now. All right, so if you guys are keeping up with my weight loss journey that I am doing here at Universal Studios, the next attraction that is on my list of attractions to fit on is Harry Potter in the Forbidden Journey. And as you know, this ride has been very controversial when it first opened as for, you know, being one of the first attractions here at Universal that really made it into the news for being not fat people friendly. So I'm gonna sit in the test seat. I already know that I don't fit in the test seat, but I'm gonna fit, I'm gonna go sit in the test seat, see where I'm at and gauge exactly how much more I need to lose before I can ride this ride again. Because this ride is my absolute favorite ride in all of Universal and quite possibly all of Florida. I absolutely love this attraction. It is so unique in everything that it does. So let's get in the test seat and see exactly where I'm at. All right, so as for Tig did, uh, I don't fit on the ride, but you know, it's good to see more or less where exactly I am and where I need to be. And it will just, you know, every time we come back to Universal, we will sit in the test seat like we did with the Hulk and just track my progress as we go along as it gets lower and lower and lower. And then one day I'll surprise myself and I'll get the green light on the ride. So fingers crossed that hope that happens very soon. But yeah, weight loss journey continues. And I know one day I will get back on the forbidden journey. So keeping up with the theme of weight loss, <laughs> 
Um, we decided to stop into Hogshead and get butter beers. Um, the last time I came to Universal, when I got, first got my annual pass, I did not get a butter beer, and I was very disappointed. But you know, we were just on a time crunch. So yeah, finally having my first butter beer after I don't know how long. It's been quite a while. Yeah, it's been quite a while. And of course, you have to get the frozen butter beer. If you get anything other than the frozen butter beer, you are wrong. Fight me. Yes, and we also got paper straws. They handed us plastic straws, but you can request paper straws if you want them. You should. Same secret. So we finally have a facade up for Hagrid's Magical Creatures Motorbike Adventure. God, that name is a mouthful. But it's very detailed. It's very detailed, and it looks really nice. You can see they haven't quite filled it in yet, but they have some, what is that called? Stained glass right above it. Wasn't expecting them to add that. Sweet mother of kind candy. What is that? <laughs> <laughs> that is massive and guess what Coda's going in to get one. Oh my god <laughs> Look at this that is insane Coda like what is Coda gonna do with all that? Oh dear Looks very pretty though nice and swirly. He's, he's doing good with what he's got. Oh my gosh I think Coda's just thinking with her stomach right now because she's been saying that she's hungry and we've been waiting Oh my gosh. All right, I want to get video edit evidence of this. Coda, what did you say you were going to do? I'm going to eat it all in one sitting. She's going to eat it all by herself. Granted, I might have a little bit, but she says that she's going to eat it all in one sitting. She's not going to get a bag. She's just going to get a paper, a paper, um, a paper cone. So we'll see. We'll get back to you guys with that. Can she eat all that in one sitting? We'll find out. <laughs> My goodness. Yeah, she's just uh, going to town on this thing. <laughs> and, you know, she doesn't look like she has any regrets about this. <laughs> Good lord, that thing is massive. And she says she's going to eat it all in one sitting. So quick update on the cotton candy situation. Um, we're getting on the train and it's actually almost done. I am very impressed and slightly concerned with Coda's ability to, to eat cotton candy the way she does. But she's all smiles. No regrets. 15 minutes. Not even it took for Coda to finish that. It is gone. She even started licking the cone clean. What in the world is my girlfriend even? I'm impressed, but also kind of traumatized. Like, you saw how big that thing was compared to her. And that's all in there. What the heck? you're one of the people that likes to come to a theme park and likes to wreak havoc if you are looking for a place to rip the gnarliest part this right here is to do it the exit of the Hogwarts Express when you're at King's Cross Station coming down those stairs oh my god we were walking down and we were just hit with a wall of funk and someone had a burrito beans or something I don't know what it was ripe that wasn't you, was it? Coda's just over here giggling, and I was about to say if it was her. <laughs> but oh my god, we both looked at each other and we're like, yo, it's dying up in here. Uh, so yeah, that's the place to do it if you're if you're wanting to, to deal with that oh, nonsense. Behold the culprit. Behold, she's crying. She's laughing so hard. She's crying. Are you kidding me? She was standing right in front of me. No wonder why I got the full force of it. Oh my God, babe. 
<laughs> look at this. She can't even look at me right now. She's crying. <laughs> oh, God. <sighs> Finally, I can breathe. <laughs> look at that. She's calling her mom and everything to brag about what she just did to me. And the entire rest of the train that just got off and had to experience what came out of her. <laughs> She's bragging about it. She's over here bragging about it, calling mom and everything. Hey mom, just crop dusted the entire staircase full of people. That was not much of it. <laughs> oh my god. Got some construction walls outside of Richter's Burger Company. Looks like they're doing a little bit of refurbishment outside the front. Maybe adding a new seating area to the front. I don't know. But, um, rightfully so, it looks like Coda has to go to the bathroom. I have to wash my hands. <laughs> okay, you better wash something else, you nasty. No, go ahead, wash your hands. Wash your hands, come on. It's a little weird walking through Universal Studios at night, especially in this New York area, because it's, it's you know, you, you're expecting to walk through here and to be scared by scare actors, you know? You, you're just waiting for horror nights, and it's right around the corner. I'm super excited. We've already got house announcements. I got a couple videos up on my channel already. I'll put a link up here to some of my uh, Horror Nights videos. But yeah, I am so excited for Horror Nights. And yeah, just walking through uh, Universal in the New York area at night, it just feels weird when there's no scare actors in it. One ride that I primarily wanted to ride today was The Mummy. I haven't ridden it in a very long time. The last time I rode it was when I was at my oh, heaviest. Really and I am super excited to ride this ride. So let's head on on it. Unfortunately, I can't take my camera. So we're gonna put it in a locker. I am so glad that I am actually able to enjoy that ride. The last time I tried to ride that thing, I was at my heaviest and I kind of forced myself on that and it was a very uncomfortable experience like I was kind of in denial about my weight and how big I really was and I kind of forced myself into it just so that I can make myself feel better but I paid for it heavily I was very messed up after that and I'm so glad that I can write it now you know comfortably you know we just wrote it twice and it was an absolute blast and I'm so happy that my weight is progressing as far as my as far as losing is concerned it's not going back up so yeah here's some more things that we can do it's at universal we're heading towards the front of the park now not sure if we're going to be doing anything else are we going to be doing anything else do you think no let's head over to the uh rip ride rocket and see if see what the test seat situation is for that one because even when i was at my lower end of weight i was still having a hard time riding the rocket that's like i said in previous videos is the end game for me as far as my weight loss because that's a it's a struggle fest of a ride to get on all right yeah my uh Suspicions were confirmed. Um, that seat is extremely unforgiving towards uh, fat guys like me, and I have a long way to go before I can even think about fitting in that seat again. So we'll see. Maybe next year, you know, if I keep working out and you know doing what I'm doing, you know, hopefully I'll be down to where I need to be to ride that thing. But yeah, that is the end game. So. Um, the next ride that I'm going to be able to fit on is Forbidden Journey for sure since it's not too far off and then I think it's, I think it's, uh, the rocket would be the last one. Here. Huh? Here. Yeah, here. So, very much so looking forward to that. Um, oh, the Today Show Cafe is open. Let's go check out the Today Show Cafe. I am very blurry. Let's do a quick tour of the Today Show Cafe where you can get coffee, salad, sandwiches, and soup. <laughs> They did this transformation really quickly, and it's kind of similar to what they did with uh, Jimmy Fallon. They have a bunch of TV screens everywhere and pictures that show um, stuff from the Today Show, and it looks very much like a like a studio in here. Whoa, camera focus! What are you doing? There we go. Looks very much like a like a studio in here. Really cool. Let's take a look at some of the options. It's not too much different from what they had here before. They got a bunch of pastries and other dessert items, some salads, cookies, some sandwiches, some more sandwiches. Some of them look really good, actually. And then the strawberry cheesecake on a stick. That's what a lot of people have been talking about. It's got strawberry and blueberry. Really cool. And then they got the chocolate torts and the different tarts and cakes. Look at that cake. That looks delicious. And then they have salads and drinks and whatnot. So. 
Very cool, very cool. All right, guys, well, that was just a quick trip to Universal Studios Florida, uh, doing some quick construction updates and riding a couple rides. It was a lot of fun. I thoroughly enjoy coming here, and I cannot wait to come back. I think the next time we're coming back is next month, um, hopefully a little bit earlier. Um, hopefully next month or earlier or later on this month uh, with they, when they soft open Hagrid's Magical Creatures Motorbike Adventure. It's a long name. It's a long name. So whenever they soft open that, we will do our best to come out here and um, ride that. And if not, we will be here June 13th for the opening day. So I am super excited for that. But we are going to go home. So with that, we are off and we will see you guys in the next video.